Flight is such an amazing adaptation. A creature that flies doesn't have to think about how. I'm Patrick Edward Sardi, and I founded Pleiades. I grew up with stories of sentient robots and magic pets. And no one ever had to tell them how to fly. We've been taught to think of robots as tools, each one designed for one specific chore. What if, instead, we design a robot as an extension of ourselves, versatile, open to possibilities, experiential? Spiri e comes with the basics of flight built in. It's programmable. If you make hardware or software for Spiri, e, you don't have to worry about how it flies, holds steady, avoids bumps or recharges. You can move on to new things. Just imagine what you can do with that. We wanted Spiri to run your applications, but also keep its flight reflexes alert at all times. So, we isolated flight from the applications on two separate processors. We know from experience that quad rotors can be subject to sudden jolts and collisions. So, we designed Spiri to be light and exceptionally strong. A carbon fiber ribbon protects the rotors, and the body is reinforced at points of impact. Spiri is programmable, but how will anyone get your apps? That's why we're building a platform. It'll work like an app store on your phone. There's enough processing power on board to run a wide range of applications and a slot on top for sensors or other accessories. As a creative team, we wanted to bring these elements together in a beautiful form. That was an important part of bringing Spiri to life. Spiri has a 1 gig processor, 4 gigs of memory, Linux and ROS. It's set up to make development easier for one or many Spiris. Spiri offers a layer of abstraction that is very interesting for software engineers. You don't have to fuss about the mobility, you have that already built in. Just go right ahead and go and solve actual problems. One of the things that intrigues me about Spiri are the possibilities on the commercial application side when it comes to uh, uh, marketing for uh, air airborne video production and stills. Uh, additionally, when it comes time to uh, actually inspect buildings, to be able to have uh, a unit pre-programmed to automatically go and inspect certain key features is going to be of uh, tremendous benefit to property managers and, and builders. Here in Montreal, we have a really booming scene as far as rooftop gardens sprouting everywhere in the city. It would be really interesting to use computer vision to actually automate taking care of all those little gardens. In Laos, where my family is from, there is a huge problem with unexploded ordinances. It would be very interesting to use Spiri to survey large parts of land in order to find those unexploded ordinances and save lives. Your support will help us improve our equipment and expand production. The more you get involved now, the sooner Spiri will be ready to use. We want Spiri to reach the most people possible, so help us make it good and friendly. We want Spiri to have an extensive API and a set of intuitive flight maneuvers so that you can start hacking with it right away. We're looking for all levels of support. If you like what you see, contribute, and please spread the word. Spiri wants to meet you too.